Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making simple old fashioned shortbread cookies. I'll give a disclaimer right now, they're addicting. They call my name until they're all gone. So most of the time when I make these, I give a good portion of them away. And by the way, they make fabulous gifts. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. Now I'm starting with two sticks of salted butter. I usually make this in my stand mixer with my paddle attachment, but unfortunately I've got a stainless steel bowl and I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing today. So I'm using my hand mixer, which is just fine. Now I'm gonna cream this butter until it's nice and smooth and creamy on medium high speed. There we go. I just mixed it for about a minute and see how nice and smooth that is. Now I'm gonna add my sugar. And for this recipe, it calls for three fourths cup of powdered sugar. The texture of these cookies are just amazing. They're perfect for gift giving, like I said, because they don't have any liquid in them. The only liquid that we're going to add is the vanilla and the vanilla actually evaporates during the cooking process. So this makes the perfect cookie to ship overseas or keep for long periods of time, but I can assure you that they won't stay long. These go faster than anything I make. And I'll just tell you too, they're my mother and brother's personal favorite. I always make these for my mother when I'm going to visit or either she's coming here. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna mix this until the sugar and the butter are nice and fluffy. Now keep your mixer, we've got a couple of more steps, but this is the finished product of the sugar and the butter. Mm. Now for the dry ingredients. We've got a half of a cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch gives these cookies such a light texture. Y'all, the taste is delicious, but the texture is one of the best things about this cookie. They're just light and crispy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this all in. And next, I'm adding all-purpose flour. And I'm just spooning this into my measuring cup because if you scoop your measuring cup down into your flour, you're going to pack it and you'll get more than what you need. So make sure that when you're making this recipe or any time that you're baking that you spoon your dry ingredients into your measuring cup. So there's one and a half cups and our two. I think I might have underestimated the size of my bowl. <laughs> now the last ingredient, which is optional, are some very finely chopped pecans. This gives these cookies so much flavor and texture and they're just absolutely delicious. And of course, these are from Shoot Pecan Company. I love Shoot Pecan Company pecans. They've been in business for almost 100 years and they're right here in the Rice area. Now I'm adding about three fourths of a cup or maybe even a whole cup. It's okay, you can add up to a whole cup. Now wish me luck. I really do think that I underestimated the size of my bowl. Now I'm going to start low and I'm just going to mix until this comes together. And look at this. See how it's just nice and crumbly. You can roll these cookies out to a quarter of an inch and make the most delicious shortbread cookies. But I'm gonna show you a shortcut and the old timey way of making the shortbread cookie. Now I saved my, my butter 
and I have a 12 inch cast iron skillet. You can use a smaller one. This will make two batches. So use whatever size that you have and make it in batches if you need to. And I have parchment paper that I've just scrunched up and lay that at the bottom of my pan. Now, like I said, this is going to make two batches, so I'm going to use one of my butter wrappers, and I'm gonna take that butter and wipe it on the bottom of my parchment paper. And hang on, we're not finished with this yet. Now I'm gonna take half of this batter, if you want to, you can divide it perfectly and evenly, but I've done this so many times, I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks perfect. There is half. Now, I'm taking the butter wrapper and I'm gonna push this dough down into my parchment paper to make a nice even layer. There we go. This is perfect. You just wanna make sure that you get a nice flat, even layer that you don't have one side that's really thick and one side that's really thin. If you need to, you can even take your parchment paper out once you've formed your shape and begin to work on it outside of the cast iron skillet. But back in this goes. The last thing that we have is granulated sugar. This gives the top of the shortbread just a crunchy, delicious topping. You just want to sprinkle this right over the top. Make sure you get it all along the sides and edges. I'm going to keep this out for my next batch. And voila! I can see a little lump there. Just press that out. And there you go. This is going into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and you're gonna keep an eye on it. Once it's a light golden brown, it's time to come out of the oven. So I'll see you back here in a few. The shortbread is finally finished. I made my 12 inch skillet I made a 10 inch skillet and I also made a little tiny six inch skillet because I only have one 12 inch skillet. So also, by the way, you can make this dough ahead of time and refrigerate it for a couple of weeks before making it or freezing it. So you don't have to make it all at one time. Now I'm gonna take this out of my skillet. I've been letting it cool. It's almost completely cool. And now I'm going to break a piece. Oh, it's still slightly warm. Y'all, this is so good. And what I do is break it in about the sizes that you'd want a cookie. And this one broke, so that means I get to eat it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. This is perfection. It doesn't get any better than this. If I have a signature dish, it would be this shortbread. I love it. I bake it for everyone that I can. It's the perfect gift to give. I've given this to so many, and every time I do, without fail, I get asked for the recipe. It's just that good. I hope that you'll give this a try. Be a blessing and give some of this away. Keep some for yourself, but I can tell you right now, it's going to call your name until it's all gone. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Please press that like button, share this video, and also comment. Let me know what you think. Well, <laughs> I am going to get to giving this away because I could sit and eat the whole thing, and y'all, that's the truth, nothing but the truth, and I'm sticking with it. See you next time. Bye.